women cheat a lot these days we all know this but as a man one of the things that you should never do is to put yourself in a position where the likelihood where the possibility of your woman cheating on you goes even higher basically in this video i'll be telling you guys some of those things that you will do that will end up making your woman to cheat on you the first one is you got her with money as long as you got a woman with money she must cheat on you at some point because a girl you got with money is simply a girl who likes you for your money that means she's materialistic and materialistic women are always available to the highest bidders if a girl likes you for your money or likes you because of the things that she's getting from you if another man comes away and offers to give her more than you are giving to her what do you think will happen do you think she'll be loyal to you do you think she'll tell the man no i'm not interested a girl that has eyes on money, that has eyes on the finer things of life, that places more emphasis, that places more value on material things than loyalty, than being faithful to a man. Of course, if a man comes with more silver, with more gold, with more money, she is going to leave you. So in all you do as a man, try your best to avoid women who are materialistic. Even if you want to do anything with them, let it simply be for fun. But the moment you start taking them serious, that is the moment you are making yourself available for a woman to cheat on you and to break your heart. The second one is if you constantly show a woman that you are weak. As long as you are showing a woman that you are weak, that you can tolerate all manner of disrespect from her, that you don't have boundaries, that you don't know when to stand your ground and tell her what you did is wrong, then you are making yourself available to be cheated on by a woman. Women don't know how to prevent themselves from cheating on men who they consider weak. If a woman considers you weak, she must cheat on you. She must disrespect you. And the easiest way you can tell a woman that you are weak is when you don't have boundaries, when you don't have standards, when you don't have rules and regulations guiding your life. There are some things that if a woman comes into your life, she will see and be like, okay, this guy, I can disrespect him. I can talk to him anyhow. I can even insult him openly and this guy will not do anything to me and therefore if i also cheat on him he will not do anything when a woman starts disrespecting you the next thing she will do is she will cheat on you and the highest disrespect the highest disrespect any woman can bring to a man is cheating on that man because obviously she has no value for you she has no fear for you and the worst part, she has no love for you. A woman that loves you can never share her body with another man. It's only for you and for you alone. So as a man, you need to have standards. You need to have rules and regulation. There are some things that you should never be able to tolerate from women. Because the more you tolerate these things from women, the worse they get. The more disrespectful they get. When a girl does something the first time that you don't like, call her out. Put her back to her right senses, else it will get worse. And as time goes on, she will stop respecting you. She will stop, she will stop being attracted to you. And obviously, she will cheat on you. The third thing that if you do, a woman must cheat on you is, or most likely she will cheat on you is, when you accept to be in a long-distance relationship. Personally, long-distance relationship will only work when both of you are comfortable cheating on each other. That's how I see it. Just imagine you are in another country and your, and your girlfriend or your wife is in another country. You guys stay apart for six months, for three months. Of course, she will cheat on you. The likelihood of her cheating on you will be higher because there are some times that a woman's body will push her to do certain things, even if she had no plans of doing those things. But most times, she will not be able to control her body. And you don't even know what she's doing over there. Another reason why I personally don't like long distance relationship is most times you as the man will be investing more than the woman will be investing in you. She will expect you to send her money, to buy for her stuff, to send her this and that. And in return, you can't even assess her body. Which of course is one of the requirements of you being with a woman. Now, this is for guys who are in interstitial relationships and marriages. 
because one of the requirements you as a man need from a woman is her body. So, being in a long distance relationship is as good as you guys agreeing to cheat on each other. But most likely, the woman will cheat on you because obviously she has more options than you. Probably she, uh, the place she is, she has this neighbor that she is now close to. Anytime her body is craving for a man's touch, she will go to her neighbor. But assuming she was in that same state or that same city with you, when her body tells her that you need a man, she'll come to you, she'll come to your place, she'll come to your house, she'll come to your apartment. But because you are not near, she'll go and meet another man. Not every woman has that level of self-control to withhold their sexual urges. Because the one of the, in fact, the highest desire in a, in a woman's body is sexual desire. So when it comes, most people are not able to control it. So this is why you should not even phantom the idea of being in a long distance relationship with a woman. It makes no sense. For me, it absolutely makes no sense. The fourth one is when you were never a woman's first choice. Imagine when a woman settled for you. You were her second choice, her third choice. Probably the guy she loved did not love her back. Or the guy she wanted to be with did not treat her well. And of course, with age, she was like, let me now settle for you. When a woman settles for you, she's simply managing you. She's simply being with you because she has no other option. That means she doesn't even like you that much. She's not even attracted to you. And she will not even respect you that much. And of course, she will cheat on you at some point. Because when a woman doesn't respect you, doesn't find you attractive, and when you are not her first choice, she will always entertain other men just to feel better, just to feel happier. Because she's not even comfortable, she's not satisfied being with you. So, never tolerate being a woman's second choice. And for some of you guys out here who are marrying women who are probably in their 30s, in their late 20s, who are not desperate for marriage, simply because the guys they gave their youth to, did not want them. So, with age, they now became desperate. And of course, they are now looking for any available man to settle down with. You guys should be careful. Don't marry women who are desperate for marriage. Because most times, they are simply trying to settle with you. They are simply trying to settle with you. Once you start, start dating a woman, and she's forcing you to marry her, because she's not getting older, because I'm in my late 20s, or because I'm, I'm in my 30s, you have to marry me now. That is a red flag. Probably she's trying to use you to escape her biological clock because she knows that if she doesn't secure a man at this point, it might be too late. So she's not trying to settle for you. Ask yourself, what happened to all those guys she gave her youth to? When she was at her prime, when she was at her most beautiful, her most sexy, her most gorgeous age, where are those guys she was with? And why is she not in a hurry to settle down with you? Before you accept a woman back, because women always do this, they will reject you, they will play with you, they will take it for granted when they are in their prime years. Then after a while, maybe after three years or two or four years, they start trying to come back into your life. Because the guys they left you for did not take them serious. So they are not coming, trying to come back to you. And when they are coming back to you, they will not be bringing up the topic of marriage. Marry me, marry me. Be careful with this kind of women. Because most times, you are not their first choice. And they will mistreat you. They will never respect you. And they will, not, and they will never truly show you what it means to be loved. If you eventually marry them. Or if you eventually settle down with them. Or even date them. They are just too much problems. So, avoid such women. And never be a woman's second choice. If a woman is not taking you as a first choice, don't even be with her. Because they will mistreat you and they will cheat on you. The fifth reason why a woman will cheat on you is you became complacent about your growth. Probably before you met this girl, you were one hungry, ambitious guy who was more focused on your purpose, on your business, on your job, on your career, which is why the girl was even attracted to you in the first place. But ever since this girl came into your life and became your girlfriend, you now became comfortable, too comfortable, complacent. You now want to spend all your time with her. You stopped being ambitious. You stopped chasing your purpose. 
he stopped being that hungry driven guy that the girl was attracted to in the first place when you begin to lose your ambition when you begin to lose your drive when you begin to lose your sense of purpose simply because you met a girl that girl will lose attraction for you and when she meets another guy who is attractive who is driven who is ambitious she will cheat on you with that guy what made a woman to get attracted to you in the first place is what will keep her attracted to you for as long as possible so, so don't think that because you got a woman, you cannot be complacent, you cannot be comfortable. No, you need to also be doing those things that made you to get her in the first place. Else, she will lose attraction for you. So, these are basically the things you will do as a man that will make your woman to cheat on you.